Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath, and it's time to get into the bite. Dolphin in the boat. Oh my God. Woo! Double hook. Solo two fish trip right there. Let's do this. Let's do this. That mutton snapper Let's right there, this. baby. Let's do this. It's early morning, I'm rigging up, getting ready to head offshore. That means it's time to dip some lines in the water, hopefully bring home some food to the family. Before we get into this though, if you wanna learn more about fishing, grow as an angler, or just see some great and exciting offshore fishing adventures, you can start by hitting the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. All right, everybody, we'll see you out on the water. Okay, everybody, this morning we've headed up a little north off to Delray Beach. What we're doing is we've come and we've anchored up on the reef. And we're gonna go for some yellowtail snap. We've got a good current that is heading north. Lucky us, also our wind is heading from the southeast. So we're kind of going in the same direction so we don't have what is called a backup drift. That means you've got wind going one way, current going the other way, and your boat kind of spins makes it a little difficult to do quality yellowtail fishing. We've got about a one knot current, which is excellent. The setup that I'm gonna use for fishing for yellowtail, my main setup reel, is a Penn Spin Fisher V 5500. Spooled with 12 pound smoke blue Momoi monofilament. And I have about an eight foot liter of Seaguar Red Label 20 pound test fluorocarbon. I'm also using a yellowtail jig that I've customized to have double hooks on it set up so that I can, you know, increase my chance for that better hookup ratio. The bait that we're gonna be using today is gonna be silver sides and Spanish sardines. So we're currently in about 64 feet of water. We've got the chum line set out. We're letting it kind of smolder in the current, drawing some bait fish, and then drawing the predators. And then we're gonna get started. When yellowtail fishing, you kind of got to give that chum a little bit of time to react with its environment. It's not an automatic thing. You can start dropping out lines immediately, but quite honestly, you got to give chum a good half hour to an hour to really set out and see if it's gonna attract anything. If it's not working, hey, pack it up, move in 10 feet, move north, move south, try something else. We're about ready to drop out our first line, see what we can get. So when you're yellowtail fishing, you don't have to cast out. You just drop your line back in the back of your boat, let it drift out with the chum, and you're always letting out line. You don't ever wanna stop letting out line. You wanna wait for, for the pull and the yank of the fish on your line then you'll slam your bell shut and you'll reel down on them. You don't set the hook, the fish sets the hook. So, current is good. That way it's always taking out your line. Don't ever feel like you're letting out too much line because it's going out in the current. That's the whole object of it. Yellowtail don't like bait that gets dragged through the water. It looks unnatural. Nope, there we go, we got the hookup. There we go. That's fish. There he comes. Target species acquired. We got the yellowtail. There we go, folks. That's the yellowtail. We're gonna measure him up, make sure he's legal. Yellowtail have to be 12 inches from the tip of the nose to the end of the tail. When you're initially setting out your chum line, which is right here, good idea to really get the juices flowing and get your oils out far behind your boat so that you can start attracting fish to the chum slick is, you know, every couple of minutes or so while it's thawing out, give it a little shake. And you'll be able to see the little pieces start to come off of it 
and drift away. And those little pieces are what your smaller bait fish are gonna eat, and that's gonna attract in your predators. And that's a little tip on how to chum good for yellowtail. All right, so our first yellowtail was a keeper, and that's a good sign because yellowtail tend to flock together in about the same size. So if you're getting dinks and small ones, you're gonna have to move because they're not gonna get much bigger than, you know, not legal fish. If you're catching legal size fish, hang out. Fish until you limit out. Don't, there's no reason to move. They, they'll get bigger, you might catch a few smaller ones, but the yellowtail naturally tend to hang out in the same size yellowtails. They breed together. They're, you know, they're a non-transient species that live on the reef their whole life. Oh, there we go. There we go. Got another one. You gotta love it when that, that line gets yanked out of your hand like that. And here they come. So I, I love yellowtail fishing. This is some of the fishing that I grew up on and I, it loves it. It brings me back to my roots. I love that strike. I love bringing home dinner. There we go, another keeper. All right, what I wanna do is I wanna show you how I like to rig up a silver side, which is essentially a large size minnow. This is a silver side. I have an eighth ounce yellowtail jig that I've added a second hook onto. What I'm gonna do is I put my hook that is attached to the jig right at the front of his nose and I will measure back to see where the second hook goes in. So I'm gonna sink that hook directly into his back and then the hook that goes on the jig, I send it through the cartilage of his head and it comes out the bottom of his mouth. That's how I like to hook up my silver sides for yellowtail jigging. hooked up on the way up always good when somebody hits you on the way up lots of times it's a mackerel we'll see what happened here Man, it's a yellowtail on the way up on the windup. Always good. There we go. Another keeper. All right, so I believe what has happened is we've gone through a tide change. I can see the current really starting to pull. So, the yellowtail hopefully will start turning it on a little bit again. And uh, we'll be able to get a few more fish. So I got some bottom feeders, like some file fish and stuff hanging right out by the boat. So if that happens and they're really eating up all your bait, you just toss out a little bit behind them and hope to get down below it before they, uh, before they nibble off all your bait. Because they're not really what you're targeting. And they're a nuisance, but they're part of the reef system. There we go, we got the hookup. Oh yeah, nice yellow toe right there. Nice little 14, 15 incher, good to go. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to make a sardine plug. Basically, it's not without using the whole sardine, you're just gonna use the body of it. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll take a pair of scissors and I kind of cut it diagonally from the belly up to right behind the head. This can go in the water as chunk. And then I'm going to take the tail and I'm going to cut 
almost all of it off. I'm going to leave a little bit of the cartilage. That's about how much I want to leave. Then I'll take my hook and I'm going to put it right through where the skin almost ends of the tail, right before where the tail begins. Just hook it one time and let it dangle. The fish will come up and nibble away. When they go to engulf the whole thing, that's when you get your hook. So what we're trying to do now is we're trying to throw out a uh, sardine plug. Give it a little bit more meat since I got all the bait fish up swarming around in the uh, chum slit here. Give somebody else a chance to nibble away at it and get the hook up. We got a mixture of what looks like blue runners, speedos. We got a hookup. Doesn't like being hooked, whatever he is. Yeah, he cut me off. Probably a barracuda. Okay, so I want to explain to you what happened today that made this fishing trip both fun and successful. I went out this morning with a game plan. I said, hey, I'm going to go to the reef. I'm going for yellowtail. We set up on a spot. We threw our chum in. We let it do its job. Caught mess load of yellowtails we're going home happy to feed the family fried yellowtail tacos i cannot wait it was a fun day it was a great day we were successful we didn't empty out the ocean didn't necessarily kill it but we did get what we came to catch and anytime you catch a fish that is just a bonus all right folks i hope you had fun i hope you enjoyed watching this offshore yellowtail snapper fishing expedition till next time south florida saltwater fishing going wherever the cool wind takes us